Andy, are you literally sitting over there saying that you don't want Molly and Carla's cheese on your spec pie? I said I don't want their cheese and I don't want my sauce. So I think we're eating. Oh, wow. You know? You know, the self-hatred goes really far. Why don't you guys stay in your lane for a second? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're all driving now. <laughs> Everyone's merging. Legit. Okay, well, I can't it tell anymore. It was our anymore. best crust ever. It's a lot of pressure. It looks you know, amazing. Got Adam over there. Sorry. The pepperoni, I mean, yeah. pepperoni pizza is pretty awesome. You know, there's something, even though it's like grease and it's running, yeah. but that grease is like. Can yeah. you put pepperoni on. No. Buffalo mozzarella <laughs> on like a Neapolitan style you can pie. What, you, oh. But I think you can do right. a lot. Yeah, you could do like a hot copa or something. Okay. If we get all these other components lined up, I feel like maybe at the yeah. very end we can have like okay, maybe like we get the pine the pineapple too. and the ham okay. in there. What? Maybe we get no. some. No, 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 no. You can just see. Does it work? Does it not work? It does no. work on my pizza. Yeah, same. We can make one green well, no, bell pepper pie for you. Leave green bell peppers out of this. I'm sorry, and mushroom. I think less is more. You know, we're going for all these efforts for awesome cheese, Can awesome dough, about awesome sauce. Chilies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think sometimes you just want heat. But it doesn't need heat. to be Remember complex heat, heat. Yeah. Sometimes. on the side. I, I feel no like you have to narrow, no topping. I think you have to narrow with the toppings. Basil and olive oil. I think you also have to add the basil when the pie is hot. But do we come up with one alt with some kind of cured meat on it? How about mortadella? Have you guys had the mortadella uh, pie? So yet? good. I cooked. It's... I don't really want cooked mortadella. I just want mortadella on the side. It's fine. Yeah, I just. So I just want to eat mortadella. A plate of mortadella on the side. <laughs> There's one person left who needs to be assigned something, so you should do toppings. And if you feel strongly about your cured meats, oh, also. Yeah. yeah, you team up a golden boy. Careful, I'll slip pineapple in there so fast you no don't even know what way. happens. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of yeah. fighting about the toppings. The toppings are gonna be. But I think that's I think it's good. gonna make for a good episode. Well, yeah, I think it's gonna make for good pizza. Wait, how serious are you about the pineapple? Oh, no, 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 I'm just joking. Okay, thank God. I'm just saying at the I was maybe. Like, this is our maybe... topping person. No. <laughs> uh, Andy's gonna be with you. Keep, you yeah, keep Andy, keep him in check. Okay, so we're in charge of toppings. I kind of got two. I got toppings and sauce. Yeah, you're Not doing. That. You're double dipping. <laughs> yeah, double dipping. The dough is set. The sauce is set. The cheese, I think, is pretty much set. And now we kind of get to see what we want to put on our pizza. So someone wrote toppings. That's toppings. Uh, that's a helpful start. Pork product. Uh, pork product. Hundred percent. Like spice, spice on, on side. side. Spice on side. I don't know. I don't I mean, know what that means. I don't know what they were like. You just torn, torn basil. Okay. I think that's Brad. 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 <laughs> Brad. What does it say, bud? <laughs> Is that English? I don't know. Wavage. Wa Wavage. I don't think that's English. Herbage. Brad. Wavage. Not, not not that kind of pizza. It's wavage. <laughs> Is that your handwriting? This is your handwriting. I know it That's is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I didn't sausage. All right, All right. anyway. Pickled chilies, definitely some heat. All right, we'll do like heat down here. No, no mushrooms. mushrooms. I don't know who wrote that. Who writes no something? I like that mushrooms on me. pizza though. Like we're definitely doing mushrooms now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sea salt, sea salt, kosher kosher salt, flaky salt, I wrote that. Okay. Pineapple for sure, I wrote that. Okay, wow. Like a strong peppery oil, so like, I wrote this about strong like- Strong peppery oil as in like a chili oil of some sort? I think that's the way we kind of go. We go like, we have our meat pie, maybe we are like minimal pie, mm -hmm. see how that, a margarita-esque, and then do like a veg pie of sorts. Mushroom pie, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure are. mushroom pie. And you know what? I want martadella. Do people do it? I, I always think of it as just like the thinly sliced mortadella that they put on top. I don't know, maybe there's a better way. Maybe it's like pieces. I guess, why don't we start with a meat pie and All right, look cool. for some, some pork products. We can go to DePaulo's down in yeah. Little Italy. Let's go over there. Um, yeah, we can see what they have and like what they recommend. Great. Cool. Awesome. All right. All right, so we're here at DePaulo's in Little Italy. They have a huge selection of mozzarella and burrata, but they also have a great selection of cured meats and sausage. All kinds of topping All options. kinds of topping Anchovies, options. you name it. So we're gonna check out what they've got. Yep, let's cool. check it out. Oh man, I haven't been a in here for a while. Of, of like sheep's milk or mix of sheep's the milk and cured and cheese. The, and, the, and the cured meat. Yeah. All right, anchovies. I love my anchovies on pizza. I love like where you get that like nice kind of like blush, kind of like pinky peachy mm -hmm. kind of color. Oh, they've got some chilies up here. I'm just curious, like, I feel like we need to try like a whole bunch of different chili flake. I so, feel like we should get like a sweet sausage, like uh, fresh and a spicy, spicy sausage, sausage. Yeah. fresh. Hey, hey, hey I'm Andy. 
Andy? What do you think is great to put on pizza? We're looking for cured meats, sausages. Some of my favorite, believe it or not. Yeah, tell us. Pizza with speck. Uh -huh. Speck auto -autogy. Speck? This is, well, Sh let's speck. say it the right way. Speck. 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 You want to slice it very, very oh. thin. Take it. Hold it up to your nose. Smell it. Mm. You smell the alpine air, the smoking. Delicate. Well, can I eat it? Now you eat it. <laughs> Put it in your mouth and hardly have to chew it when it's this thin. Well, what are your thoughts on mortadella on pizza? Mortadella. Yeah. Uh, mortadella. Now, see, mortadella, you can cook it with your pizza. Oh, really? But you need to do it cubetti, and you sprinkle it on top. I like to use what we call the bomb in English, bomba. Bomba. Oh. Bomba. The peppers mixed with a little bit of olive oil. oil. I like to wash the anchovy first before really? I put it on pizza. I wash it in vinegar. And so this is the cured sausage. This happens to be a little spicy. This is raw meat. My advice, making the sausage, put a little water in the skillet, take it out of the casing, break it out, give it a quick saute. Okay, okay? yeah. All right, I'll wrap it all up. Great. Do it. Okay? All right, Thank thanks, you. man. All right. All right, we got a shit ton of meats. A so lot more than meat. I thought. So we've got like classy pepperoni, mortadella, speck. And we got some good sausage. I'll start slicing. You I saw slice his thickness. Stuff? Yeah. So. All right, cool. We'll go from there. Are you ready, Molly? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> we got it right here. Cubed up mortadella? Mm -hmm. You're focusing on cheese, so please go ahead. <laughs> you know I love mortadella. Uh. When you form mozzarella cheese into logs instead of into balls, and you cut strips or pull large strands of it, you break up the mozzarella and it's to its like natural structure, uh. structure as opposed to like breaking through all of it. I have one question. Do you drain it whole or in pieces? Drain it for 30 minutes. It's on the recipe. What? Drained 30 minutes. Did you even read Oh, cheese? the buffalo? Oh, yeah, that's draining. No problem. Okay, let me know if you have any other questions. Molly's very fired up about yes. cheese. Wait. We definitely did not drain this for 30, 30 minutes, minutes yeah. at all, no. but that's fine. It's fine. You haven't worked the dough once since we... Not even once. Oh, this feels so wet. This, this is wet. This is oh, wow. way too oh, wow. wet. Then how much meat do you think? Maybe two ounces? Oh. <laughs> Get that on camera. Calzone time. Okay, Chris, your turn. And we're gonna still roll with uh, sweet sausage, yeah? You got it. You, you... really doesn't want it. It's not a forgiving dough. Not a super forgiving dough. <laughs> a little bit oblong, no problem. Do you want to do a hot sausage? I'll measure you cheese? two ounces. Yeah, Andy. Uh, yes. Wow, that sauce, man. Real good. <laughs> I really love the heat and the sausage, but this whole thing, I just feel like needs something else happening. It's, it sits heavy. Mm -hmm. I would go for the sweet Italian and then add my own heat on top. Mm -hmm. I guess we still have a few more meats, so why don't we just keep going? Let's try the wooden peel because I feel like it may give us a cleaner release on the pies, mm -hmm. you know, kind of coming off with just a little bit of flour. I'm Great. also thinking I'm going to assemble on the peel. Do it. Go ahead. F it. F it. Cool. Ooh, I like it. Okay, this is good. 
Yeah. I feel like Tom Hanks in a Castaway when he makes fire. You know? <laughs> this is like, that was a big deal for me. That's what we just brought to the oh, we, whole thing. Oh, the wooden I think, we, peel. I think we earned our paycheck today, Oof. Andy. I feel so good about this. And that's her passata. It's good. It feels complete in a way that the hot, fresh sausage didn't quite. This feels more right to me. The cups? Mm hmm. I feel like I'm caught between wanting this to be thinner, just so that it's more tender in the mouth, you know? Like, like just eats a little bit better. Like the texture of that is really better. You really have to work your way through it. Yeah, I, I like think the that softer, of less cured, yeah. definitely works a little better. All right, I'm gonna do a drapey mortadella. Okay. And you're gonna do a cube one. Parmesan? Parm. On top, underneath, underneath. Because you you're want... draping it on after you cook the thing. Um, right? I don't know. I think I was gonna put this on and slide really? it in. Really? You think it's gonna be weird? I don't know. Uh, look, we can try it. Let's see if this works, man. I might be totally wrong. <laughs> we'll see, Andy. This is pretty good, guys. A little parm. Oh, mandolin parm, huh? And look, going look at there. how this slides. Yeah. You know, it I kind know. of makes sense though. Don't worry about it. Metal's too smooth. I don't know, Chris. You're pretty into that? Hey, your nightmare is my dream, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> your nightmare is my dream, the Andy Baragani story. This scene needs some heat, That I needs feel some like. something. I mean, should we just bust out the bomb? Oh, yeah. Pretty good. That's a great pie. I like the idea of cubes. I don't like the way it looks. I really don't like the way that looks. The bite of the martadella pieces, it's just too, too much. much for me. So is there a winner between the meats so far, you think? I feel like this. And the soprasada. And the soprasada, the big one, yeah. the soft one. So tomorrow, I think we're gonna play with the anchovies. Yep. We're gonna um, mess around with like an herb or two, mm -hmm. like basil, oregano. And we still have the prosciutto and the speck we gotta deal with, but I'm excited tomorrow. Play with a few more things and go from there. Um, today, Andy's actually sick. So he's at the doctor getting it checked out. I'm sure he'll be fine, but the good news is we've got Molly filling in. And I'm sure Molly's gonna have some like pretty specific ideas about what she wants to do today and where she wants to take toppings. Um, I'm not trying to like rain on your parade. I want to hear what happened yesterday. I think yesterday. you might be trying to rain on Andy's parade, but Definitely maybe not Definitely gonna rain mine. on Andy's because Andy's not here anymore, <laughs> but not yours. So I think the point today is like, do we want to go back to mortadella with Bomba and see is there one finishing element that we want to bring to that? You know, because you felt like that pie was pretty friggin' close. That was pretty pretty tight. Well, you know I love my mortadella. I think but we then could... I just wanted to bring up one thing, Nduya. Oh, That's yeah. That's in the sausage category, yeah. and you guys haven't played around with it yet, and I That's think true. we have some. And when we were in Italy, it was the most incredible pie that we had. It was awesome because it was spicy, and it was funky, mm -hmm. and it had just a lot going on. Okay. Which like maybe would be the answer to the mortadella plus chili oil plus this plus that. Yeah, I think it's a question of within this category of meat pies, what are the additional elements that really bring those pies like into like really like delicious focus? Um, and then maybe when we arrive at two, we feel like particularly strongly about, we can show them to Andy on Friday. Bring them back in. I have one other question or thing to bring to the table. Have you considered pickling your own chilies? We talked about it, and I think we specifically talked about like pickled chilies from the standpoint of like. Whatever. I say it only because I have a jar of chilies that I pickled like a week ago. So if you want to throw we a, could, we a could homemade try. chili in there, 
I think we could try that, like maybe with like the the fresh sausage, like yeah. as an option. Are we only moving forwards here? Are we not going back to like see any of the stuff Andy and I did yesterday? And I guess if it were me, I would. I think it is you now. Uh, yes, you're right. Maybe we'll try Sorry, to call Andy, Andy later, but um, we can tell we can him. Just, he can play catch up. Yeah. We are making some pies now with sweet sausage, Molly's and Duya, and mortadella. Those are the three paths. Do we want to alternate some cheese on top there? Yeah. A little under, a little over. Okay. Oh my God, it, this peel is a whole other thing. Right? I'm a different pizzaiola today. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I don't like the way this looks. I think that's a bit of a sexier look. Right. Basil right out the gates. I'm flaky salting. Yeah, let's hold back on the mortadella with the salt. That sausage is great. Right? The sausage is really good. Yeah. It's way still to go, like... Lou. And taste the actual pepper. It's so good. I love that. Actually. I almost want more mortadella. mortadella. Yeah, could that maybe you know have I a mean? touch more. Mm -hmm. I love that. I like it better than the sausage. But I'm like a mortadella till I die mm. kind of gal. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I like the mortadella more, but I think the pickled chili has a lot going on. Let's try the bomba. It's like this is giving you oil yeah. on oil on oil on fat. Yeah. And this is giving you just enough vinegar to really still taste the chili. Yeah, I agree. Wake it up. Are we all in on mortadella? It's certainly my preference, but we still have to do and do ya. Absolutely. Let's clear the decks. Okay, it's time for the and do ya pie. I've been waiting for this moment for a few weeks now. And we have a special guest star, whether he knows it or not, big boss, Adam, Adam Rappaport. Rappaport. Um, so we need to make this perfect. So you want to handle the dough? Sure. I feel like you got your dough. Dough sorted. handled. Oh wow, look at you just peeling it off. You just gotta go for it. Oh it, my God. Didn't anyone ever tell you the dough can sense the fear? Just like dogs and bees. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna start with one ounce of Nduya because this is pretty powerful stuff. I would say these are dime-sized nuggets. So I did 0.8 ounces of Nduya. Ooh, look at those bubbles. Yeah, see, everything's cool. You don't want to move That's it? That's a nine mincher. I don't know. It just felt like it needed another okay. second. I think that was great. Really? I think you reacted and, and you knew you didn't well, want you to touch it. Well, you started like saying like, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I was like, excited. Look at the bubble. Okay, the, well, I can't tell anymore. It was our anymore. best press ever. It's a lot of pressure. It looks you know, amazing. Got Adam over there. <sighs> Sorry. All right, grab it out. Add. I'm going right on with the fresh base. Right on. And I'm doing a little bit of this. Tiny bit of oil? Tiny bit. Ooh. I will. That was nice. Introducing the Nduya pie, a personal favorite. Kind and of like spicy Italian liverwurst. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Sure. Yuck. <laughs> Way to ruin something great. Ooh. Oh, it's weird that it's like meaty and saucy at the same time. Yeah. Like well, you don't realize you're eating actual meat. Mm -hmm. It just it tastes like intensely meaty meat flavor sauce. sauce. The crust is really good. This, I like that it kind of integrates into the pie. I mean, this would not be my first choice of a pie. Okay. Yeah. You're done here. <laughs> and camera can I, cuts. Can I, can I finish it at least? <laughs> sure. I don't care. I will say, I think it's heavy on the Nduya. I think Nduya is a particular taste. And mm. some people go for it and some people don't. Mm -hmm. And like, this one's gonna be like the pie. I no, this it's, it's our pie. It's not the pie for the people, it's our pie. That's what, I, yeah, but correct I work me here. if I'm I wrong. Work here. You're not in the show. <laughs> I am now. I like it, it's just like, it's a particular thing. Okay, well, okay. this is not necessarily the pie. This is in this the is running. A pie. This is a pie. It's a pie right. on the journey. All yeah, right. all right, cool. Well, um, thanks for your Thank input. You. <laughs> Alex, do you wanna try this? It's tasty. I really like it. The thing that Nduya to me like doesn't bring to the table is that like pizza is so much about the visual and like having that little cup of pepperoni with the little bit of grease He's inside. He's a pepperoni cup kind of guy. That little drop of Nduya visually doesn't really do it for me. Hmm. I don't think that you should be 
displeased in any way with this, though. I'm not. All right. Molly definitely is not. <laughs> Next step, mortadella. Half of it is going under the cheese. Half of it is getting draped after. Is yours going to be okay. mortadella pre or post pie? I'll do pre. Okay. I shouldn't have put cheese over so much of the mortadella, you know? I think it should be like interwoven. One way that we could maximize this is by tearing it into smaller pieces so there's more edges. I'm getting so much flavor from the parm and mm -hmm. so much flavor from the pickled chili. I feel like the mortadella is like losing out a little bit. So maybe we go to just pickled chili only and putting the mortadella on before and seeing if we can get like get it to stand up a little bit more so it catches some more heat. And are you feeling this parm? I'm feeling that parm. I'm feeling it too. So I'm gonna tear these into like thirds. I feel like mountainy mortadella. Mortadella. Mortadella mountains. Yes. You got it. Okay, cheese first. Is this what you meant by mountains? Craggy. Yeah, I want craggy, jagged peaks. Craggy, jaggy. Okay. Craggy, jagged peaks. I kind of want to drizzle olive oil on this. I feel like it might help with the crisping. Yeah, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, Chris. Oh, it's fine. No, no, in a good way, Chris. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dear God. Molly, you have so to stop doing that. every time I get excited. Wow. <laughs> All right, basil, basil, basil. Uh -huh. Take yeah. Mountain. Yeah. Mm. It's not not perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. <laughs> I think Jesus the the mortadella is so improved. Mm -hmm. Can I crash this again? Absolutely. Sure. Putting a pork product on a pizza and heating it, you want the pork product to get crispy. Correct. Like yeah. pepperoni or a tart flambe when you have the bacon and onion. Yeah. Mortadella doesn't get crispy. Mortadella okay, Mountain. We're talking about Mortadella Mountains yeah. over here. So you put it on after the fact. No. No, it doesn't get crispy. So there's what no is point that? eating it. What is what? Eat that. That's a crispy Eat Mortadella that. Mountain. Did you hear that? I wish it was uh, Mike. It's like shattering. It was like a potato chip. Shatter. Okay, but I'm sure they picked it up on mine. Like it's fine. We put parm on when it came out. Yeah. That slice over there had no crispy. Yes, that's because I know, that's we a, are, this, this, this is, is an evolution. This is 3.0. I really like the flavors and definitely just like bringing it up to take my first bite. Like you get that whiff of vinegar mm -hmm. and the heat and the smoky. And when we have actual wood smoke, I think it's gonna be like really aromatic yeah. and good. It's really good, guys. Cool. It's really good. All right, I feel I'm oh, really good this. about our meat option. <laughs> Me too. Um, I feel like we should maybe do some anchovy action because it's sort of like a wild card. Maybe we do that next yeah. and then hopefully, you know, we have that change of plans and we'll be able to go to the green market on Friday because um, of this insane weather today. It's like literally, uh, <gasps> it's a squall. That happened in the last like 10 minutes. Yeah. It's a freaking whiteout. But um, at least we're in here making pizza. Okay, we have to do a little bit of an anchovy wash. Yeah, so first we're gonna wash our anchovies with a little bit of vinegar and then pack them in like a sort of fresh, like higher quality olive oil. We're putting these on after. I was gonna put these on before. You put anchovies on after? <laughs> There's something to me about like blasting this really beautifully high quality piece of fish here at 750 degrees that's not sitting well. Only for a couple minutes. Not to say that this is, makes it correct, but I cannot think of one example of a place where they're putting the anchovies on after. You know what? There's only one way to figure this out. Yeah. But do we and do that it? that is make like 25 more pies. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you weren't gonna say that. Let's find out which of these anchovies we like best and push the others aside and then we'll do all of our testing side by side with the preferred anchovy. 
don't react. No ooing, awing, like, like loud. You're freak like, out. Yeah. <laughs> I just, no, but I also, I don't want you to like color. Oh, you know? oh yeah, yeah. It's so hard for me not to react right now. I can't look at your face. This, I, I don't know that this I like it. This is so salty. Yeah, like I don't know that I like it any better than this. I like I think the, the texture of this a lot better than this. These two are like a pretty comparable. Yeah. This I find saltier and a mealier texture. So like I definitely can eliminate this guy. What if we split a pie between this and this cooked? And then we split a pie between those two uncooked. So and we're doing, we'll do two pies. Two pies. Pie going in. Hello. Oh, this is really nice looking. Other thing we're gonna do is check out some like raw, super thinly shaved garlic. We were also talking about a little lemon zest. For and a little bit, wow, smelling good. Smelling real good. Wow. Woohoo! I already just like know that I don't wanna eat the anchovies raw after seeing what they're doing here cooked, but we're gonna do it anyway. Yours first, yeah? Okay, yeah. This smells so delightful. Mmm. Freaking delicious. I took two bites and I didn't need to. No, you didn't. I think it's gonna be hard to tell the difference, to be honest. Yeah, if anything, just a touch salty. The flavor of that anchovy is really good. It's really good. I'm here for that one. Yeah. Do we want to try raw? Oregano. Uh, with this, but like this, like, yeah, with oregano just dumped yeah, on? Yeah, sure. That was pretty nice for me. I definitely like the way the anchovy cooked into the pizza looks a little bit more than this kind of like, kind of still like glistening, you know, kind of like nude anchovy. I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So just, we have to figure out like with Andy and maybe he'll let you drop in, we'll see. Hope on so. Friday, um, what we're gonna do with like farmer's market veg and you know, maybe some mushrooms, maybe some shaved onion. I'm feeling that. Thank you so much for filling in for Andy today. This was huge. I feel like we had a great day, you yeah, know, like standing success. on the shoulders of like the gigantic amount of work Andy and I did yesterday, of yeah, course. Huge. My All right, pleasure. We'll see, you, we'll see you back here Friday. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, we're, it's the first day of February. It is the worst month of the year. It's and very, very, it's very, very cold. cold. Uh, we're at the Union Square uh, Grain Market, and hopefully they'll have some stuff that- uh, Yeah, we need a veg pie, so we're gonna see what they have. Yeah. I don't know if I want the kind of sweetness of carrots on pizza. Um, want some onions? These onions look great, actually. These onions look amazing. Yeah. And you were talking about maybe like a little like red onion, maybe with like mushroom yeah, thing, if we can find some mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, these are blue oyster mushrooms? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, these ones are, would be pretty well suited for pizza. Yeah. Okay. For sure. I was instantly drawn to the baby mustard. So the mustard's really nice. It starts out with like a, a Dijon mustard front and then kind of has a horseradish kick. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we got a lot of ingredients, some from the market. We kind of felt like we had to supplement like what we'd gotten from the market with just a few other examples of like mushrooms and then also even like leeks. I guess I need to try that mortadella pie. Right, before we get into our whole veg, like what are we doing with veg, mm. veg, you know. All right, so how about you make the mortadella pie? Yeah. So I can take a look at that and okay. then, oh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll do the speck. The yeah, speck. I'll do the speck on right, what I thought. Cool. Okay, great. Let's... You're doing with a, an egg, yeah? I think I'm gonna do it with an egg. What are you feeling? I'm feeling like I'm gonna just uh, do what I tend to do and go rogue. rogue. What are you doing? I'm gonna make quick garlic paste. What? Yes! I'm nervous for you, okay? I'm nervous for myself every day of my life. All right. Yeah. Did 
the yolk cooked too fast. Yeah, huh? You know? Hey. Is it lunchtime? Yeah, it's lunchtime. Yeah. Should we do this one first? Yeah. Yeah. I love it paired with the egg. My only question is, you know, like, could this ever be like the one? No. This isn't the one. No, no, no. no. You know it's what I mean? Too, you date this one. Yeah. You kind of it's like, tasty. you know. Yeah. You maybe, you move, <laughs> maybe you move in together, but like, come yeah, on, this yeah. isn't the one. You move in together, but it's not the no, one. Don't wow. Move in, don't move in together, but not the yeah, one. Yeah, I That's know. A That's a bad Whatever. idea. I'm biased. I'm. I always am happy with mozzarella on, mm. on pizza. Also, delicious. It touches on the kind of the porkiness of the mozzarella, but then also yeah. you get that good the tomato sauce that comes through. It pairs mm -hmm. really well. You get such a ribbony slice, and then uh, some parts of it crisp, and other parts of it I stay. I think it should always go in the oven. We were debating about yeah, that the other you know, day. You know what? Hiding under this crisp layer is like right, a non-crisp like uh -huh. layer. Oh, you you haven't tried the, the oh, it makes it oh, so you much easier. You no, know, it's a game changer. Where? Like, it's, it's yeah, a it's game appetizer. changer. It's like ripping off a Band-Aid every no, time. No, we went through the, One it, shot. What are the other kind of pies do you want to see? Maybe a mushroom? Yeah, mushroom? we're going to do that. Mushroom? Pizza is so good. Like a crispy mushroom. Yeah. Maybe like maitake, like really lean into the like high heat from the top. That's so where we're at. Okay. okay, that's our next move. Okay, so we're doing uh, mushroom pies. He's doing one, I'm doing one. I'm doing one of the chanterelles. Chris is doing a mixture of oyster and maitake, is that correct? Yeah. Ugh, these are some dirty chanterelles. That's my shirt name. Dirty chanterelle. There definitely wasn't nearly as much like monastic silence of like two uh, silent craftsmen engaged in their work. She's clearly the more chaotic one. It's <laughs> like watching scientists at work. I wouldn't give us that much credit. <laughs> Okay, so this half green chili serrano, uh -huh. this half just a little bit of like claw green chili bomba. Mm. Did you know that my dad eats pizza with a fork and knife? Even really? this type of pizza, he would eat with a fork and knife. The scallions are a lot for me. But I don't know if you need scallion and garlic. I do like the bomba. Do you try a piece with the... Yeah. Mm. It's, I like the heat. Even like slightly heavier on the mushroom. Yeah, more mushroom. And, and then just the garlic. What if you went all my taki? I would do another all my taki, raw garlic, no serrano, um, and then finish with bomba. I do think there is something really nice about like the gremolata treatment, where it really lifts the chanterelles up. I don't know that like I would know 100% that it was chanterelles. Yeah. You know, as opposed to something else. But I just did not want mozzarella, and I was being so stupid. I wanted like a Gruyere. No, and... I love it. I don't even miss the cheese. Really? The Gruyere is so funky when it melts. That's mm -hmm. true. So you're both gonna make both of them again? I think we have to. Okay, I'm I think so. so. Uh, I am taking out the Serrano, and I'm taking out the Scallion. I'm gonna go all in on raw garlic, um, my taki, a little crispier, a little finer, and then finish with the bomb. I'm gonna switch the red onion and go with the leek because I like to with people and uh, um <laughs> uh, disrupt uh, yeah. <laughs> and more cheese I put an egg on it Chanterelle, mozzarella, parm. And then after it comes out, chili flakes, lemon zest, parsley, garlic oil. It's, it's too much like of a mouthful of like leek, you know? I the chanterelles are like so dynamite. Mm. The what? The amount of like crispiness on the chanterelle. Mm. I like the look of this one a lot. Yeah. There's some good crispy bits. 
This tastes like a mushroom pizza. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah. I feel like that's a winner. I'd love to make a couple anchovy pies. Yeah, I would too. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's not a one ounce ladle, is it? This is a two ounce ladle. Oh, we were doing one ounces of, so of one sauce. One ounces of sauce? Yeah. Well, that was dough episode. So that means that with the final episode, we're all gonna get together and tell each other what they're doing wrong. <laughs> That's usually what we end up doing in this session. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try this first, just cause that's like a palate killer. Flavor-wise. Yeah. I'm into it. So good. Yeah, it's really good. They have good anchovies. Really good anchovies. I have no, no problem anchovies. with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you goobers doing? Oh, <laughs> God. We Ooh, better get a anchovy? Yeah. I like. What Have a little anchovy? bite. Come what on. Kind of, what no, kind of you anchovy? Can't, you can't hang on that. These try some. are. I do it's... like the anchovy. I like that little bit of funk that it brings. Yeah. yeah. Did you try the mozzarella pie? Yeah. Well, tell me, what's the hate about that? Although I really like the speck. Oh, good. The speck stuck out. But I think Thank you. between mortadella I and knew. speck, I think I'm team mortadella. Okay, well that's still my pie too. <laughs> that's the problem. You're dealing with the things that are all really good. Yeah. Um. And no. Oh, what's that? My phone's but, ringing. But who's to say that we can't have three? <laughs> three meat pies. Um, yeah. I think this, with or without the cheese, I think flavor-wise, it's delicious, yeah. and it's balanced. Let's say we're definitely gonna do a mozzarella pie. That's one. Mm -hmm. I think we should do the mushroom pie. Anchovy, yes. I think the margarita yeah. has to be there as that's a, like a control. That's like a start there. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That has yep. to be the control. Okay, okay. great. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Claire, Eating. thank you for tasting. I'll drop in anytime when you're making pizza. At least pizza. we fed you. Yeah, thank you. All right, so when it comes to the meat pie of mortadella, shroom pie, sauteed maitake, sauce, cheese, anchovies. Wow. So three good lot. options. And then margarita is our control. We always have margarita as a backup. Or Hawaiian. But yeah. Hawaiian. You know. <laughs> cool. Okay. I feel pretty good. Uh, the I feel really good. I think the martadella is like delicious. All the pies are delicious. Hopefully the others will see I die with us. Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, you can already see, like, when you introduce even a third person into the equation. Oh, yeah, they're just you know, like, what? like, all of a sudden, like, the, the ideas and the opinions start spinning out oh, in, yeah. like, different directions. A fourth person comes in, and it's, like, chaos. Hopefully, at the end of the day, we'll have some pretty good pizza. I think so. I think that's, that's, that's going to happen no matter what. We're definitely going to have some really good pizza. I'm, I'm fired up to show the rest of the team what we have. Yeah, no, I'm stoked. Okay. I like Andy's, like, pizza hands. It's all, like, up here. You know? In the cook zone. This is delicious. Yeah. Mm. This one, best one yet. It keeps getting better. Yeah, that's because we keep improving. Great job, everyone. Great job. You gotta look everyone in the eyes, too. Eyes. At the same time. Okay. Well, just at least as you clink. <laughs>